Hey, this is Dragon Feather, and this is going to be part one of, of a four-part, like, getting to know the element series. Um, we're going to start out with Earth, um, how you can get to know Earth, and where you can go to get to know Earth, um, or suggested places. Alright, so a suggested place to get to know Earth is in a forest, um, in, like, a grass area, a grassy area. Um, a place where you won't be disturbed by other people. Um, a place where there isn't a lot of traffic, like a hiking site, probably wouldn't be the best idea. Um, a place where there's not a lot of freeway noise or street noise or talking from other people. A place where there's not a lot of aircraft, so like by an airport wouldn't be good. Um, a place where there's not a lot of light pollution. And I think that's it. So, those, when you get to know this element, you should keep all of those into a checklist and you should make sure the place that you choose has everything or most of the things on that checklist checked off. So, yes, what you can do to get to know the elements. Um, well, what you would do is once you find your area, wherever that may be, you're going to sit down on the ground or lay down on the ground, whatever you prefer, depending on if you're on dirt or grass. Um, and you're going to first close your eyes and listen. And you're going to listen for a long time until you feel like you've heard everything there is to hear. Um, you can even turn on your side and put your ear to the ground and try and listen for the Earth's heartbeat. Um, and yes, it does have a heartbeat if you listen hard enough. Um, you can try and... you can smell whatever is around you. Smell the grass, smell the trees, smell the flowers, smell the bushes. Um, be careful where you go because you don't want to disturb any animals or scare any of them into attacking you. Um, you can feel everything, feel the grass, feel the trees, feel everything. Um, once again, try and stay away from animals um, so you don't disturb them or bother them. And the last thing you can do is, if you're comfortable with this, you can taste the element earth. You can pick a piece of grass and lick it. I know that sounds kind of weird. Um, you can uh, you can skip this if you want. I mean, if you're not comfortable with licking grass, I totally understand. And if you were to just go up and just say, hi, tree, and go, bleh, and lick a tree, that's awkward. And I don't think the tree would appreciate that very much. So if you don't feel comfortable with doing the, the tasting part of this element, then by all means, you can avoid it. Um, but and really pay attention to the nature of how this element acts and how it is. Like, Earth is very steady and it doesn't really move unless something else moves it. Um, whether that be humans or air or animals or yourself. So, yes. And if you have any questions about it, please leave a comment below and let me know and I will get back to you. And until next time, blessed be and bye.